Good morning, YouTubers. This is Joe Bravo and Mo Bravo Knife Reviews. Uh, today I have uh, two new front top flippers for you today. Uh, the Pena X-Series Large Swayback and the Gareth Bull Shamweary. Uh, both of these knives are production version knives. The Shamweary is made by Wee Knives and the Pena X-Series is made by Riot. Uh, they both have a similar design as they are both top and front flippers. Uh, the Pena is a little bit more of a top flipper versus the front flipper, but it can be done with the side of your thumb. Uh, the Pena is a 3.3 inch blade where the Shamweary is a 3 inch blade. And they differ in regards that the Shamweary is a frame lock. And the Pena X-Series is a bolster lock. And everybody will know that I really enjoy the bolster and the liner locks. Which is really why I am gravitating closer to the Pena uh, than I am the Gareth Bull. And uh, yeah, I, I, I got this one first. And the detent was a little tight. But after playing with it, I mean, this is, this is great. You know, multiple deployment methods. Uh, easily to close. I mean, Riot does a great job on knives. I know the Chavez 229s uh, were made by Riot. Uh, I had a uh, Birch Blades uh, Secant, which is a really nice knife. Uh, and, uh, you know, overall for a Chinese production knife, they really do a great job making uh, production knives. Now, that's not taking anything away from uh, Wee Blades or uh, Wee Knives. I have a uh, Berg Slim that is a production knife uh, for Berg blades that was made by Wee. And it too is a very nice blade. I'm uh, getting it out of the box right now just to showcase the you know, differentiations between uh, you know, uh, Wee production knives. Uh, I don't have a secondary rear at the moment, but uh, I don't think that going with the Chinese production version of these knives is uh, a detriment to the overall presence of the knife. I mean, granted, a Gareth Bull can go up to, you know, fifteen, seventeen hundred dollars $1,700, and uh, especially when you get into the customized steel and wood and uh, inlay. Uh, for those that don't know, Gareth Bull is a South African uh, knife maker. Uh, there has recently been a push uh, for these new Gareth, uh, excuse me, South African knife makers, and uh, they've been very popular. Uh, my personal preference, if I had to pick between the two, uh, would go to the Pena. Uh, Pena's out of Arizona, and uh, they recently had a, a drop for some custom knives, uh, and those are made out in Arizona. So if you do want a USA made version of the Pena, uh, they are available. I don't believe it was the Swayback, uh, I think it was the Mula that had been released, which is, uh, again, a very popular knife. So, um, yeah, that's all I really have to say about these two knives today. Uh, my buddy James lent this one to me, and I think it's going to go back to him. And the Pena might stay around a little bit longer. Um, I don't know, the Black My Card is beautiful, it really has uh, developed a nice dark color with the oils from my hand, being that I've been playing with it so much. Uh, I just don't know if it is worth it over my brown Cortex that I had. I mean, I've really, really been enjoying it. And uh, I'm going to pull that out for you guys just to see. Um, I don't know. I mean, you, you laugh. Um, even my Olamic has been coming a little bit redundant since purchasing the uh, brown Cortex. And just to give you, you know, another perspective of where these knives reside as far as size and shape you know the Pena really has a great blade uh, the Warney in the Olamic is again a very stout blade for its size uh, the Gareth Bull is certainly a little bit more refined it is a little thinner uh, I don't think it's as hard use uh, they do a great job with the crown on that knife nice and round it so you could really tell that it's got uh, some interesting design cues for a production knife. Now, this was done as an OEM knife with Gareth Bull. 
So it is a Gareth Bull knife that was produced by Wii. Um, but, you know, overall, I don't think there's any issue with purchasing any of these knives if the little front tick speaks to you with the Gareth Bull. Uh, then, yeah, I, I think it would make total sense to purchase a Shamiri in production version before you determine whether or not you like the uh, the custom, you know. And uh, whereas a Pena, you know, for a reasonably priced Pena, great fit and finish. Show you the bolster lock there. I mean, as everybody knows, I like to grip it and rip it. And you can hold this one as tight as you want because you're not going to be on that bolster lock and it's not going to prevent you from deploying. I mean, look at that micarta. I mean, it is just sweet. Terrific looking clip. Not too deep, not too shallow. And like I said, just the multiple versions that you could open this knife. It's just fantastic. You know, will it replace my Cortex? Probably not. I mean, you know, but that's the difference between a $300 knife and an $850 knife. So, not too uh, close in price there to compare, but, you know, ultimately, I don't think any of the knives on the board today uh, one could scoff at for lack of quality or uh, lack of fidgetability, <laughs> if that's even a word. Well, Thank you guys for stopping in. I hope you like and subscribe. And uh, have a great rest of your weekend. Thanks.